Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rory Sang Mabokwane and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, career development, personal development, lifestyle, the works. Anything and everything that is relevant for us to navigate our young adult lives. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that red button, better turn gray. That red button better turn gray, guys. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bells so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So we're back, back again, and we are continuing our career series for Vlogtober. And I am so excited, I'm so excited about all of these videos but I'm really excited about this one because of the perspective that it's coming from right so um, a lot of the people that are coming on to um, this career series are actually employed people but I specifically chose someone who is fresher younger and who is actually at the beginning or about to begin her career within this field because I wanted a new perspective and just a new spin on the specific career field. So today we are exploring marketing um, and I have brought my little sister um, to come and share her insights. I'm going to give her an opportunity to introduce herself and then we will kick off today's video. Over um, to you. Yeah. Hi everyone. My name is Ole Tuma Kubu. As um, my big sister already, <laughs> already stated, um, I'm a student at the University of Johannesburg. I'm in the field of marketing and um, I'm just interested in all things marketing, all things, I believe everything is marketing. So I just want to impart the knowledge that I've, has gotten me thus far and that will hopefully propel me forward into the career that I'd like to be in one day. That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, so welcome to the channel. Um, I know you're nervous, so please breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a little bit like, breathe. Yeah. Okay, let, let me breathe. We're having a conversation, so mm -hmm. don't worry. Um, so like she mentioned, she's in marketing and we are going to explore all things marketing today. And hopefully this will lead you in the right direction. If you are at a point in your career where you are trying to figure out how to pivot maybe into marketing, or if you are a high scholar or in varsity and you're not sure if you've chosen the right degree and are looking to maybe explore the marketing field, this is exactly why we are putting out this video. So without wasting any more time, let's kick this off and ask the first question, okay. which is something I also don't know. I'm here to learn as well. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> but what is marketing management? Okay. So um, when I was thinking about the question, I found myself in a tight space because you want to say the textbook definition, right. especially from my perspective where yeah. I'm in varsity still. There's not much experience and all you're thinking about is the textbook definition. So I'll definitely give that. And marketing in the traditional sense is promoting and selling your product towards the market, but via understanding the customer's need. Okay. So that's the big one understanding the customer's yeah. need and also communicating that okay. towards the market and potential customers okay. but when we break it down um i have a, a huge um like towards a lady named lebu lion and she just she breaks it down to an amazing like point the bit the the cracks the bones and and the the bones of it all yeah. in marketing which is giving value Okay. to a service or a product towards nice. the market okay. so you might not see a value in those red jackets yeah. but as a marketer my point and my job is to make you see the value, value. in it okay so that's that's the basic part of it and i know it might seem more simple because we hear so much about it and we hear gurus saying yes. so much about yes. it but more or less that's what it is and for us to even know what a marketing manager does, that's what we need to know what marketing okay. is, right? Okay. And then in the end, when you look at a marketer and a marketing manager, mm -hmm. we see her or him doing those things, right? Okay. So we, we see them putting into plan and putting into um, work strategies that make that happen. Okay. So basically, as a marketing manager, you're a person who puts strategies in place to be able for, for consumers and customers to be mm. able to see that, mm. that value in what you're promoting yeah. to them. Okay. So more or less, that's what a marketer is. Um, okay. 
yes um yeah oh i just also wanted to implement say that marketing in south africa because that's another thing right mm. i do believe the internet has brought in so much knowledge for us which is a great thing but what it does it it, it takes away the south african context for yeah. us so a marketing manager in america might not be the same of here. course of course and that that's what changes the question what is a marketing mm, manager mm. and anybody who's looking into this field might have to look at and hopefully this video is a part of their research mm. but you have to research what a market a marketing manager in south africa does and what um their responsibilities will be i will i will speak about that later but you have to do that because let me just give some background context mm. south africa is not the same market that other countries are first of world countries are that means even as a marketer you're not marketing to that same market agreed so what is a marketing manager you end up having to do way more than just marketing mm. because of the context you're in mm. specifically in south africa now i understand some of your viewers may be looking internationally and whatnot but in the african context specifically in the south african context as a marketing manager your job ends up being so broad mm. because of our our situation the situation Basically, we find ourselves yes, yeah. and economically in the market and whatnot yeah. okay. so um that's the answer to the first question some of these questions will, will, will bleed Overland, into one another yeah, but yeah. more or less that's what a marketing manager okay. is no you gave me chills when you said strategy because you guys know me strategy <laughs> is you know um but i think the one thing that you highlighted was um it being client-centric mm -hmm. and i think a lot of jobs pertain to that even the field that i currently mm -hmm. find myself in you know um it's what the client needs and mm -hmm. values most mm -hmm. that matters right yes your job spec says yes. it, but literally the client is always right and the client we may not want to admit it but the client is always mm -hmm. right and we need to be able to cater to their needs right. and i absolutely loved that because i've never heard of somebody speaking about marketing number one from a strategy point of view mm -hmm. but number two focusing so much on the strategies that would bring the most value to a client yes. um for me it's it's usually just okay i want to put out an ad i need a marketing yeah. manager you know because that's what people mm -hmm. think it is right um i yeah. need to build collateral yeah. to market something but it's deeper mm -hmm. like it's you deeper. just shared. it's deeper mm -hmm. i think people also need to understand that gone are the days uh, the consumers are away, hey, mm. they are awake and they are knowledgeable yeah. and consumers are no more just dolls that yes. <laughs> need to be fed stuff. Gone are the days of that. We need to really play into the needs and mm. the wants of the customer. And even in, um, oh, by the way, another thing is, uh, and marketing is so much more than advertising, mm. which is something we'll get to at a point. But advertising is just a, a tiny little speck. Yeah. And if there's people who want to eventually get into the field of marketing, I hope that they, they are informed well enough that, hey, even though mark advertising is a great deal and that's mm -hmm. what's really publicized, mm -hmm. especially in our country where the, mar the, the marketing management space is so small, mm -hmm. Um, I hope they get to a point where they're like, actually, there's a strategic part. Yes. You know, we're getting digital marketing now. So even your tech people mm. can get into mm. that. You know, there's just so much going on where marketing is just not this one yeah. um, one thing. It's multifaceted. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, that's, that's interesting. That's mm. very interesting. And it's funny that you mentioned digital marketing because in a previous video that they would have seen a few weeks ago, mm. I spoke about the top five in-demand mm. jobs in South Africa mm. and digital marketing management was on that list, yep. you know. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty mm. cool. Um, so... I know that you're still a student yep. um, and your day is filled with lectures and studying and exams, <laughs> but on this channel, um, and I'm quite sure you guys know that we go above and beyond and we do research for you guys mm -hmm. so that you guys don't have to go mm -hmm. out and look for that knowledge mm -hmm. yourself. So we want to share and the second question that I wanna, um, want us to touch on and you don't have to go into too much detail okay. because obviously like I mentioned you're still a student mm -hmm. um, but I know you've gone and sought out a lot of knowledge yes. about <laughs> what a day to day of a marketer looks like okay. um so can you share that with us what what does a typical day in the life of a marketing management a manager okay. look like 
so I've spoken about marketing being broad mm. and because of how broad it is, a day can really be it, very be, when different. I was doing my research, one who's in corporate, another one who's in an SME, another one who's in um uh, the more creative space, mm. they gave me different um points of views. Mm. But one thing that I thought two things that I found out was marketing is very strategic in nature. Mm -hmm. So and also um operational in nature. Okay. So your your day to day will be based on either that or both, a mixing of both your strategic section, where if you're a marketing manager, because management implies something mm. that you're in, excuse me, your middle management to mm. upper management and that's where you now attending meetings stuff mm. like that you have to a lot of collaboration is right, involved right. so I'm sp I, when I spoke to a lot of women in that space because most of my mentors are women I as they should be guys, it's, <laughs> most really, of my it's so much easier and not to bring race into it, it but I really gravitate towards black women. female yes you know, people yes. as mentors. But we'll speak about yeah. mentorship on a completely different video. video. Thank yeah. you, she'll take care of that. <laughs> but, um, yes, a lot of them just mentioned how it's a very collaborative nature. So mm -hmm. that's another thing about marketing. For a marketing operation, strategy, campaign to take place, there's a lot of collaboration that takes place. Mm -hmm which means there's a lot of meetings so uh, one of the ladies was like it's a lot of meetings mm -hmm. that you most of the time you sometimes you don't want to be a part of mm -hmm. sometimes you do want to be a part of but it's a lot of collaboration that takes place you sometimes have to meet with the finance department to approve your marketing budget you have to speak to um your digit so if you've hired people like yourself who are yeah. in the social media space we if we hire you as a department as a marketer um we have to speak to you we have to get that done with you the the heads of the business and upper management themselves for me to communicate the message to the customers, I need to speak with the leaders and of the organization. Yeah, right? that office, yes. right? yeah. So it's a lot of meetings, a lot mm -hmm. of operation. Okay, that's your strategic side, right? And then there's still the side where you actually spend a lot of, especially if you're the sole marketing manager, mm -hmm. a lot of time alone because strategic implementation. Um, implementation, implementation mm -hmm. um cannot happen if the strategy itself has not been built. Agreed, and you have to sit and, and you have to sit and think that about strategy. that. That's so um, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. But I I I want to highlight the collaboration because even that strategic. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> marketing is so broad yeah. that even something as a strategy, as much as you're doing it alone, but if you're gonna if you're starting a strategy. You need to get information to implement that Agreed. strategy and make it happen. Agreed. So you need to speak to market researchers. Mm. So it's a lot of collaborative mm. efforts mm. Um, and a lot of um, the, 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 the operational part would be then maybe you creating it on yourself, yeah. by yourself and yeah. on your own. And then the delegation of it. If you're a marketing I manager, see. so there's obviously a difference between a marketer and, and a marketing manager. manager. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe your marketer would be under your your, your the marketing manager. Yes. Okay. So she he or she will take um take um part in leading and and making sure that the, those efforts are taken care of. But um then they also delegate. I see to those who are below them and they say no, this is our strategy. This is the strategy I've created in my own private time and whatnot and whatnot. These are the components. These are the components. And we need to yes. make, and we need to implement. So that's a okay. day to day looking. I mean. It's a lot of collaborative efforts, mm -hmm. but also a lot of alone time yeah. where, you, yeah. where you creating that strategy okay. from scratch. Yes. That's interesting because um, in my in my field of work, mm -hmm. um, specifically within the product space, um, my job is to make sure that the product is properly you know, mm -hmm. commercialized mm -hmm. to our clients, mm -hmm. but not just the clients, but also like the internal, you know, mm. people in the bank who okay. will actually be selling that product. And we work a lot with the marketing team to create collateral mm. for that. And when you were speaking about collaboration, mm. um, I thought about a recent initiative that we actually just worked on where we like provide a brief to them and then they take the brief and they either like look for the internal resources mm -hmm. to like build on that brief mm -hmm. or they like get an agency outside mm -hmm. to like build the collateral for us and then from there we br they bring it back to us and they're like are you guys happy no let's fix here there, 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 there. and then we so it's a lot of meetings like you mm -hmm. mentioned a but it's also that. a lot of collaboration yeah, it's a lot of yeah. back and forth mm -hmm. i think when it comes to implementing like marketing mm -hmm. campaigns 
a lot of work goes into the background and i don't think people like yes. realize that i think I, I here i wrote down it's not just a day in the life right so yeah. we see a lot of content and i hope that's a stigma this video breaks that mm -hmm. as much as we we are a part of the yes. content space yes. now with this video but of how simple things can be which is true mm -hmm. but um it can only be so simple for so long mm -hmm. right yes. when you get to a space where you're a marketing manager and we'll talk about the steps that you get to be at that yeah, place. Yeah. But once you get to a point where you're a, a marketing manager, you are doing way more than what we see the girls of doing on a, on a day in the life. It's day, not just... The day in the life on Instagram look cute, guys. guys. They look so cute. <laughs> Even my days in the life. I'm also guilty. Ish. My days in the life look so cute, guys. But it's Fight so much more life. than that. Okay? It's <laughs> so much more than that. We are seeing a lot. And the, the behind the scenes of the ladies that I spoke to, they're saying... It's, it's genuinely so much um, collaboration, dealing with people, mm. because as much as it's a solid process, which is lovely, mm. uh, but the the feedback as well. So you can't just, gonna the, like mm. I said earlier on, gone are the days where we just do what we want yes. and we send it out to people, yeah. especially if you're working with other people and you trust it as a marketing manager with somebody's brand. Yes. So and you, that's a heavy it's responsibility. It's a heavy responsibility. And I communicate, as a marketing manager, I would be communicating that to the mm -hmm. public. Mm -hmm. So the, sh the responsibility it's lies on, on your shoulder and on your team's shoulders mm -hmm. to make sure everything works to, towards this brand. Yeah. And it's, it's really important that um, you are able to strategically and just be able to put enough effort and work and strategy and make sure everything works together in one to to make this happen hence the day-to-day -day, i can't be too specific about it and say you wake up in the morning you, you do, do this, this and you, you do have that. a meeting you exactly have a, yeah, also you. like because i said earlier on the job is really broad so it looks so different every exactly. single day it, work, yeah. it looks extremely different but I, this is the best i can give in the sense that there are two main aspects which is your collaborative side and then the side where you strategize mm. you know the collaborative side is often your implementation mm. But your strategy, your strategic side is often the time where you buy yourself and you're thinking, hey, as a yeah. manager, how am I gonna market, you know, yes. your brand? Yes. You know. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, and I'm quite sure this question is I don't believe in stupid questions. <laughs> but you guys are gonna think that this is such a straightforward question. But now that we've laid the foundation of mm. what a marketing manager is, what a marketer is, um, I'm quite sure that people want to know what what do I need to study if okay. I want to become a marketing manager in okay. South Africa. So I have a couple of disclaimers with this one okay. because we're having a lot of conversations right now and a lot of discourse, especially obviously where all conversations right now mm -hmm. happen mm -hmm. online, where people are saying, hey, with the rise of digital marketing and short courses mm -hmm. and all that, you don't need to go to school. Mm -hmm. And I will... In the conclusion of this question, mm. I'll try and say what my personal opinion, oh, please, personal opinion say, is. <laughs> personal opinion. I always say, go and do your own research. research. Thank you. I don't want you to say, Rory said, yes. or let to say, yes. please, we are just sharing our perspectives. Okay. <laughs> so the disclaimer is, while I was looking, I mean, we, we make these decisions to study, mm. Not just because I, I'm privileged to say that I, we, a lot of us in Gen Z come from a generation where we can choose to study or not, yeah. you know. And I, I am from that generation. I come from that privilege where I can say, okay, when I studied, when I decided to step into the field of marketing, I made the decision weighing all the possible pros and cons of it. So okay. my disclaimer is, and I have stats <laughs> from Stats Essay backing it up, I need people to be aware that the current report on unemployment that came out now was that more than um, close to 50 percent of people who are unemployed are or let me say it's easier for you to get a job when you have a form of um a like form formal, of qualification of, yeah. post high school yeah and a lot of the the, the, the the a high percentage of those who are unemployed are people who do not have a piece of paper backing it up backing them up I really I recommend <laughs> going to school and this is where now I can I can say answer the question yeah. indirectly marketing in South Africa is not heavily regulated yeah. it's not regulated 
in the sense of getting in the job obviously we have your advertising laws and all that mm-hmm. but i mean getting into the field it's not like accounting yeah. where it's a heavily regulated it's, um, okay. space okay. and field or um medicine where it's regulated mm-hmm. where you need this this mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. or to pass some board exam so as much as i'm saying that i'm saying keep in mind that the south african context let's be it's realistic yeah. and 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 there's been opportunities that digital marketing and these online courses and short courses have brought about, but we live in a country that is very paper conscious. Yes. That's very qualification conscious. Yeah. And if for us to enter into these spaces, I really do recommend you Go having, have a a, you know, in the yeah. form of a, a piece. Of, and that's where I now say, actually, South Africa is great in the sense that we don't even need a full degree. There's a lot of people who are getting diplomas, who are getting high yes, certificates yes, yes. in marketing management, in sales, and they're making a space for themselves. Okay. But um, the traditional sense, this is when I answer the question, is your bachelor's degree in your marketing management or supply chain management okay. or um, business, That's business administration because, oh, and communications because... So that, like I said earlier on, mm-hmm. the career is so broad, the, the space is so broad, but also South Africa does not have a marketing field that is so um, niche, niche like yeah. an American yeah. space. Yeah. So even if you get a degree in supply chain management, you can find yourself in marketing That's because it's so integrated and it's so, the marketer ends up having so many responsibilities because it's not a intricate intricate marketing 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 is on an intricate space like in other mm-hmm. countries mm-hmm. right so um yes That's your bachelor degrees okay. in marketing management supply chain management business administration and communication okay. that's where you get yourself in there obviously you can add the bells and whistles like your postgrad um mm-hmm. your postgrad studies and your mbas and all that obviously that gives you a better chance in the country that we live in and your advanced diplomas but i those are my main points number one keep in keep in mind the south african context and how the country and employers feel about paperwork Mm. Mm. secondly keep in mind that um it's your Mm. main it's your main degree your your bachelor your, your your marketing your you know your that sense but yeah. then number three as well you are allowed to get into the space without, without that paper anything. it's okay. just that you need an extensive well detailed well a good um portfolio okay of experience okay that's what that, that that's, that's the interesting the question. okay that actually helps with the next question mm-hmm. that i was going to ask which is um you know can one work as a marketing manager without the degree so yes. i guess we won't delve into it's that one a very lot. deeply yeah because she she mm-hmm. basically mentioned that um you have to study mm-hmm. well as long as you've touched mm-hmm. you mentioned marketing um supply chain mm-hmm. communications mm-hmm. and business and i can't remember what else and you is it yeah. more or less those yeah. are the four. um so i actually didn't know that supply chain could actually we interact quite a lot here even that's right now as i'm studying most of my courses clash so i think that's why they allow it because a lot of my modules clash with supply chain management. That is that is interesting. Mm. Okay, I, I I always say on this channel every day is a school day. Wow. <laughs> and listen, I I'm at school today. I'm I'm really at school really today. Interesting. Okay, that's super interesting. Okay, so you also mentioned I think this is another question that you've already answered, but basically, what are the next steps after mm. one has gotten um their degree okay. or their diploma, mm-hmm. you know, certificate? what what are the next steps after that do they need to get a certification like you said it's not regulated like um accounting or whatever where you need to do you know extra stuff so um what does that look like so excuse me again (laughs) um we have two options which is furthering okay so i've speak i've spoken to a lot of small marketing um firms and you know your advertising and whatnot mm-hmm. and a lot of them the, the field has become so competitive yeah. and just the, the 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 job market the workforce has become so competitive i would recommend to a lot of people that to advance advance yeah advance um i'm gonna advance as okay. well once i'm done with this degree i'll be going into honors okay. um and i understand the south african context again not everybody has the 
the, the means ability and the, means, and the ability yeah. so yeah. i completely understand the need to get directly into the job market so that's option number one getting a further um further in your education mm -hmm. but option number two is getting into the job market okay um getting into the job market how do we do that um what's lovely is there's a lot of internships available nice i mean okay. um the institution i go to i'm not plugging them but a lot of institutions do that where they um they put it's a system where your final years go into internship That's and nice. they put themselves into that space and i'm kind of jealous because <laughs> i went to the same institution they we, didn't do this for we, us we have that now us in the supply chain management and listen <laughs> that orange school i'm side eyeing you <laughs> I'm sorry. so that's that's um what they do but um a lot of that so entering the job market especially i mean uh you have a lot of uh, videos about that from adjusting from school into, into that yes. but i'm um, just i would highlight maybe self-assessment number one mm -hmm. that self-assessment helps you with understanding that should i go back to school or what should spaces I? will i need yeah. to get into especially in marketing so I got into marketing knowing mm -hmm. that um, I'm not very, I'm a very creative person and people, when they think of marketing, they think advertisement, yes. you know, yes. um, influencing what, that's what uh, I creative thought. spaces, <laughs> yeah. you know, and whatnot. Yeah. And there's a space for that. But you find people like me who I can't give you a fresh idea from my mind, but if you give me an idea, I can I find can ways to implement it, yeah. it and I can find efficient mm -hmm. ways to implement it. So you need to self-assess before you get into the job market because you need to understand am i someone who's analytical i mean your tech people yeah maybe marketing um research would be more their yeah. space and whatnot yeah. so self-assess um created professional cvs hopefully i really recommend that by the time you're in third fourth year depending on what qualification you're doing Some that that's or already something. there yeah that is already yeah. there i mean we have high schoolers already with CVs, so please, please. when you get into high yes. varsity, make get your, your presentation, yes. yeah. get yourself out there, the professional market with LinkedIn, mm. all that, that will aid to making yourself um, more visible. Yes, more market. visible when yeah. you eventually, yeah. when you're transitioning, when you're taking the second mm. option. Mm. Um, and yes, um, you know, just the, the traditional way of just mm. entering mm. the job market. Okay. So those are your two options when you're done with varsity okay. and completing your studies. It's either we continue furthering them or we enter the mm. job market. But then there's also the space of doing your own thing. Mm. So marketing, again, I keep on saying this really broad, you could be a digital marketing specialist, mm -hmm. which a lot of people are doing now without even a degree. Yes. A lot of, um, you can be a, a specialist in the different spaces, a brand special, a mm -hmm. brand image specialist. Um, you can do your own thing on the side. I know a lot of people have a natural urge for entrepreneurship and that's where it can be channeled if you're going to be specializing in that space and you don't want to go the typical corporate route mm -hmm. or, um, or, or serve under another organization, create your own or you be your own organization as a specialist aiding these other organizations okay. so these are the routes that are available okay no that's interesting mm. that's interesting and once again you've answered the other question <laughs> it's okay yeah. it's okay no um i i'm quite relieved okay. to hear how broad Oh, um yeah. the space is i say that because my younger brother is also studying marketing mm -hmm. right and I've always thought of it as a saturated market, right? Mm. Because I think a lot of young people mm. study marketing management or like psychology mm. or whatever. Mm. And I've always just wondered, okay, what is he going to do after Post, school, yes. you know? So you being able to like break this down mm. gives me a whole lot of relief because not just for my little brother, but for mm. everybody but else people, out there yes. who is, um, you know, studying mm -hmm. towards marketing or is interested in marketing or is maybe not even studying marketing but is studying you know the other qualifications yes, yes, that yes, we yes. spoke about um but they're not necessarily like mm -hmm. enjoying those degrees mm -hmm. and want to see what they're going to do afterwards these are things that like really really help so thank you for sharing that i think for me i can sleep at night tonight <laughs> because every night i'm just like <laughs> 
it's it's what true. is my little yeah. brother gonna do uh, guys <laughs> true the, the gap um a lot of people don't know because of how we've made marketing mm. to be mm. even as people who have studied yeah. i think it's what we gear for a lot to your advertising and honestly because advertising is so creative and the creative people tend to go who are people who are more extroverted yes. and whatnot that obviously that will be the more publicized yeah. side yeah. of marketing yeah. but um i'm glad it's we're getting a breakdown of yeah. much more and yeah. Honestly, I like you said, I recommend that people go do research because I genuinely believe that I'm touching the surface. Yeah. I mean, if no, you guys had to see yeah. the go notes see that it. I have, yo, if I had to pull out the notebook <laughs> and show you the notes, I think I'm just brushing the surface. Yeah. I'm not even mentioning everything that's in this yeah. paper. Yeah. Um, and I always mention on this channel mm. that literally this channel lays the foundation mm. and you guys then use this foundation and build on it with the research that you guys do for yourself so um the next question i wanted to ask was about the different types of jobs okay. that people can look into um if they've studied marketing management um you touched on digital um mm. you know marketing specialist you touched on advertising mm. you know people that work in advertising mm. but can you give like one or two examples okay. on you know what someone can do with that degree okay. and the jobs that they can do okay so i know people know your more typical ones but i actually i wanted to mention this one which is People would be so shocked if they heard about it. Mm -hmm. um, event management coordination. Okay. So one of my mentors, she works at a big bank. And um, that big bank, I mean, it's like a very, it has clients of a certain tax yes, bracket yes, and yes. all that. And she constantly has to throw events for, for them. Their market, and for their market, for their as clients. Like, yes. yeah, and that's yeah. a way that she reaches consumers. Mm. So um, if you, Rory, you're a client of mine, of this bank and i throw an event and i say hey rory come, come through uh, yes yeah. come through and for some reason you bring two three people with you i've reached a new market exactly. now so exactly. that's interesting because someone would never think how oh, event planning you yeah. know even the yeah. we say event planning but that's something in marketing okay. that a lot of and i, I would have never thought because this lady she's like yeah well, i'm in marketing i mean she has other responsibilities but, but she, she says, also does that's her joy that's her joy that that's where she finds a lot of her joy in the marketing okay. space even planning um your market research analyst mm -hmm. and your marketing analyst so there's a difference between those okay. market research is mostly done prior mm -hmm. to, to um, even starting this, like, yes, yeah, the, strat yeah. the strategy and implementing mm -hmm. it and then um that so that's where your i will say though the threat of this as someone who initially went into marketing mm -hmm. with this is your ai yes so and i think a, a lot of research analysts mm -hmm. are stressing about that as well yes because ai can literally build you an entire marketing strategy and give you all the research yep. in seconds yes. so that is scary yeah. so that's the scary part but i the hope that i have with south africa which it, it, south africa is an interesting market because we find ourselves with a lot of niches yeah. that we can yeah. feed ourselves into yeah. and that marketers can feed okay. themselves into. So uh, in good. South Africa, we have, a, we, I mean, for example, I keep on comparing ourselves to them. America's really, really not that diverse in their market. Okay. It's just that they get fed and pumped a lot yes. by them. They're the people in those companies yes. and organizations. Um, but in South Africa, I mean, we live in the most, I think if, if it's not us, we interchange with South Korea a lot. Mm -hmm. The most unequal econ economic Econ country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, econ economy, sorry. Mm. Unequal. So the highs are very high. That 1% is very... But those very, lows. But the lows are extremely low. Yeah. So we have a broad spectrum to market to. Mm. We have the highs to market to. And then we have the lows to market mm. to. I mean, mm. the same, for example, um, I don't know how you feel about me mentioning... Bra a luxury brand okay. can... Um, can market themselves in South Africa mm. and you would think why are you marketing yes. you yourself to an African not even first like we don't even country. have money bro <laughs> exactly but yeah. there's a market for yeah, that there are people are. I mean that one percent yeah the top one percent a diamond walking center yeah. I mean is full I don't go there because listen <laughs> I'm not there yet <laughs> but it's full one day, one day. <laughs> it's full but um at the same time we can market I mean we find certain companies marketing to ICAS yes. because there's so many niches yes. in South Africa yes. because of the economic state we find ourselves in. So the mar and these are things that sometimes AI will not get. Yes, of course. Because they don't like, know our context. Like, it doesn't know our context. 
AI, so I recently just completed a mm. um, online course. Mm. One thing about me, y'all guys know on this channel, I'm forever, I'm forever doing a short course. She's giving us a short course. <laughs> um, and I finished one on AI recently. Mm. And they were saying, as much as AI is like a powerful tool mm. and you can use it mm. a lot, there's some things that it just won't mm. get right, you know? Um, and that's exactly mm. what you're alluding to you know there are just some things not just the human element let's let's leave the human elements mm -hmm. out of it but there are certain things within the context of whatever research you're trying to do yes. that you may be, maybe didn't put in that prompt or in that mm -hmm. you know brief that you gave to that ai tool mm -hmm. whether it's gemini copilot mm -hmm. um Chats, i don't know the other GPT. one G chat gpt all of them um there are certain things that you might have left out thinking that they'll like the tool will pick up on it, but they it don't, you know. And sometimes the research that it feeds back to you is very broad. Mm. It's going to touch on a source from America. It's going to mm. touch on a source from, you know, South Korea. Mm. It's going to touch on a source from Australia. And bring that all together. And yes, in as much as it's in depth, it might not necessarily be in, in relation context. to the south african context mm. yeah so i have hope for the market researchers because yes. there's still that yeah. i i believe with ai one thing that will help us conquer it is tapping a lot into the human element yes. and also being able to think comprehensively in that human mm. element right and um so yes so okay. there's your market research analyst and your market researcher um the research analyst then looks after remember marketing has a lot to do with mm -hmm. um the feedback of things because we can be i mean i'm sure you know from mm -hmm. instagram you could be posting and posting and posting and posting and on this brand deal only 10 percent of what you, of the people who you yeah. i mean you were just talking yes. about subscribers guys hello please subscribe 60 percent of you are watching you're not subscribed. You're not subscribed. I'm just saying. So, market <laughs> like, research yes. analyst, yeah. someone who's a market research analyst, probably paired with AI to give you that statistic. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yes, there's your market research analyst, and that's the two that I can give you right okay. now. Um. I mean, the others. I mean, they've been They're given more common, your brand yeah. managers, yeah. your and people will be like, why brand? Because again, marketing is very. It's broad, but in South Africa, it becomes compact. Yeah, very so a marketing very, yeah. ends up being a brand man yeah, manager yeah. as well. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now that's that's good. That's interesting. Um, there's hope, guys. There's there really hope. is. There's there hope. really is. Like I said, I'm gonna sleep with <laughs> a, a very, you know, mm. because as a yeah. big sister, I stress about these things. I really do. I so thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> okay. Um. So the next question that I want to ask is basically what a typical career path would look like. So mm. you've gotten your diploma or you've gotten your degree, you've gotten your honors. After that, what does it look like? You okay. mentioned that there are companies that offer internships. Mm -hmm. um, you can maybe become a graduate. Like mm -hmm. what, what does that look like? So um, we start with, in, so a lot of places, internship. The, the job market is really competitive. Yeah. And um, that's your best foot in the door, internship. And um, internship or, uh, okay, I've done it in stages. So your stage one would be your internship mm -hmm. or your entry level marketing assistant, okay. intern, that level. And that's your role would be assisting the day to day. So you're in the operation session, section. Okay. Most of the time you're not in the strategic yeah. part. The strategy is built, they tell you what to yes. do. Okay. So you help in that day to day. Okay. And even then in the operations, there's probably heads of operations or people who are not, you know, who are higher yeah. than you and you are aiding, helping and aiding them to fig figure out what to do in the day to day. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, your market research, social media marketing, mostly is done by these people. Okay. Um, okay. But the, the more practical side of it. Okay. So the posting, you yes, know, the, you yes. know, you know, stuff like that. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I was about to talk about our yeah yeah <laughs> we have, you, yeah it's a, such a yes but the, that's the intern so okay. indirectly we are marketing interns. i'm gonna put that on my cv oh, absolutely Listen, absolutely my, i wish you guys knew what we were talking about anyway <laughs> um then we have your stage two which is your junior marketing exec okay um that's someone who first of all let me speak about requirements okay <laughs> once most of 
I, when I did the research and I spoke to people, more or less one to two years experience, but guys, people fight in the, not fighters and physically or in a violent manner, but, like but people it's a competitive. are competitive yeah. within the space yeah. and it's hard. I, what I'm giving you might not be the exact, mm. but more or less, this is the minimum. Even on LinkedIn, you look at what they want. You're one to two, mm. maybe two to four years experience, um, knowing how to handle if there's anything that I would say, I'm even doing it as a course on the side. Digital marketing, guys, is a need, guys. I our our institutions, it. they are lovely. They really are. But they're only catching up now to yeah. the whole digital marketing yeah. thing. And it's not... It's not um parallel to what we're seeing in the market, mm. what you're gonna have to perform as a marketer. Yeah. So in order for you to stand out when you get to work, yes. short you need course, to do those short courses. A, rep- a very reputable one, please. Mm. Um, mm. because a lot of people are offering this course, please do not be scammed. Mm. Um, I am interested with the one in uh, that UCT offers because nice. UCT will always have that backing behind them one thing about them yeah they'll always have that backing behind them and they've got a good brand Mm. literally so i i hope you guys when in your search and you find a good one because i mean some guru could be giving you a short course and it's not going to be reputable when it's on the cv it doesn't have a it doesn't carry any weight yeah so um i just i recommend that but also yeah in the role you do your market this is where the strategies start coming in Mm. right you're working with other marketing managers people higher than you Mm. to 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 break down the strategy so that you can feed it to the people who will be ma- um, implementing it and yeah. that day to day operations we're talking about with the entry level marketer this that's made possible by your junior exec I see. I see. and then your stage three which would be your marketing executive remember we said marketing your junior marketing mm-hmm. exec who would probably be working under the stage three right. your marketing executive. A lot of it is very synonymous with one another, yeah. but it's just a breaking down to the point of the last person. Yeah, yeah. And then your stage three is more you. Now you're specializing even. This is when people tend to say, you know what, I'm okay now. I can break off after this with the experience that I have because this yeah. demands five years of experience. Okay, okay yeah. So you so can now start you're breaking yeah, off. Yeah. You can start saying, okay, because um, there's your junior exec, you work on the planning and the executing of the marketing, but you, but you can be as yes, general. As you general. Can, so you can say, you yeah. know what, Ju- uh, junior exec, I'm delegating this to you, but me specifically, I, I love work on this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, also you bridge the communication again from the next stage, which yeah. will be your uh, senior marketing manager. Okay down to your junior marketing exec. I see. And then since we spoke about that, your stage five senior marketing manager is um she manages the teams or she manages the teams. You know, that's where your leadership really takes place. Okay. You know, that's where leading and and you know the the polk that we learn yes, in high yes, school yes, and whatnot. Yes. That's the part that it takes place because at the end of the day these higher positions are people who just um not just I, I I honor them, I honor their jobs, but they yes, oftentimes they build the strategies, but they also just their main job is making sure it gets done. Yeah. They You're might the not be the one and then doing everybody else yes. behind them is doing yes. it. Yeah. So that's your senior marketing management. Mm-hmm. That's where I mean that's why they ask for eight plus years mm-hmm. of experience. Those are usually like your yeah, even on LinkedIn they'll say it's like a senior level position yes. when you're applying yes. or something like that. That's so it's a lot of leadership. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're someone who's not into this, hence I'm saying a lot of people then end up stopping at the previous stage, your stage three. Which they, where they say, you know what? I'm good here. I'm good. I want to specialize. And if it means I consult with the specializing, yeah. Yeah. I can give you the skill. Okay. You know, okay. Um, I've recently been not necessarily doing it. As, I'm not saying I'm a marketing specialist yet, but I do that with organizations, smaller organizations. And I say, you know what? I'm good at strategizing. Mm. Um, you obviously as a small, especially as really small companies, you can't afford a full marketing team so, yet. So here's the here's strategy. Here. here you go. Yeah. And make it happen. Okay. So you even freelancers come that's from cool. the, that stage, your stage that's three. Cool. 
and then they feed into your stage four which okay. is your senior marketer and then your stage six your top dogs your top your level exec, is your, your, yeah your cmos yeah. your chief marketing officers yeah. that's where you eventually you get to okay. that in your different fields this is more or less the path that you can follow okay no that's cool um i like that you mentioned that even now even as a student mm -hmm. you're offering some of those services mm -hmm. to companies as well it goes back to what we were speaking about about making your cv colorful mm -hmm. um in order it's for you really to be important. able to kept, like go on this journey it's extremely important exactly i mean guys we looked at linkedin and it's not to pressure people but when you open your mind to a space like linkedin i'm sorry i'm using them a lot but that's that's the where yeah playground. that's where i go yeah, yeah um and you see things like I mean, are busy, people are check, busy. Yeah. it makes you it, it really ignites something yeah. in you because i had slept i was sleeping thinking you know what i've got the degree i'm good i'm good i mean yeah. some confidence i mean i went to a private school the confidence of the connection will yes. come through not, not, but a lot of us are the same yes there are hundreds of kids who graduate from private i mean who matriculate from private schools and then i think for me the biggest thing many of you come from private schools mm -hmm. and then once you get to uj it doesn't matter who went to a private it's, school or not true. if anything it matters what value you can prove to that company mm. you can bring, right? Mm. And that will only happen if you show that you are, like, someone who takes initiative, yes. someone who is doing things on the side, someone who, like, that's the only way, you know? Like, the private school looks cute on your CV. It's great. It really does. But... Even that, you know, sometimes yeah. it's a repentance. I was true, speaking to a, a, um, a recruiter, this lady, she was like, don't, I don't want you guys. <laughs> I, I will never. I will not say her name, and I'm not saying it to uh, to to like restrict or yes, or to make you discourage feel anyone, discourage. Yeah, yeah. But yes, so yeah. um, put yourself out there. This is more or less, and again, uh, disclaimer. This is the typical corporate route. I mean, we have people like I said with the space being made for digital mm -hmm. marketing mm -hmm. who just get a short course. Their route is after that short course, I implement what I've learned and I freelance, okay. which yeah. is more like your stage three, whereas like I've skipped the junior, the having to climb the corporate that ladder, ladder yeah. and I'm just specializing straight okay. away. You know, but this is more or less your corporate your stance that route. a lot of us will be going through. Okay, do. okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure... Because you haven't started working, mm -hmm. you probably won't be able to um, help us with this. And if we can't answer this question to the best of our abilities, please go. Indeed is there. Yes. Um, what's the other one? LinkedIn is there. Um, mm -hmm. They will give you guys proper salary ranges. Mm -hmm. But as per our research, yes. what are the entry level salary okay. ranges for a marketing manager? So I did according to the stages, but I'll just say the, the, the stages I mentioned in the previous question, okay. but I'll just say the first three stages because the question is entry level, yeah. right? So internships, I, the, the you Five know, cent. guys, we live in South <laughs> Africa and the word stipend is a reality it and is. it exists. It is. So, um, but I'm trying to, I did for SME. And I did for, um, so your small businesses, because that's another thing about the previous question. I apologize mm -hmm. for just bringing yeah, that in. Right. But one thing I spoke about with my mentors is don't be afraid to go to the small corporates as mm -hmm. well, the small businesses as well. Number one, they will enlarge in your ability to work as a, ma as a marketer because the resources are not the same as major so corporate. So you do everything, you touch everything. everything. Yes. And yeah. it makes you, with that way, it, it, it grooms you in a way that if you get to the corporate space, the big corporate you space, can you can do quite a lot because yeah. in that small space, you are brand manager. Then you are advertising, then you are agency, then you are, then you are yeah. doing everything, yeah. digital yeah. marketing, S SEO, sorry, the search engine um, optimization, okay. yeah. everything. So um, just um, keep in mind that that's what I also kept in mind with the, with the payments, mm. that... I know we all run for the big corporate jobs, but there are the small businesses as well mm. who need your services. If That's anything, good. we are the ones who help them 
I mean, small businesses are, are, are running the game as well. They have a huge part of the market mm. um, and they make things happen within the South African economy mm. and they need your services as well. And um, the pay may not be the same, but there are benefits and pros and cons to every single job, corporate and um, small businesses, okay. right? Okay. Sorry. Um, so, yes, your stage one, your internship, um, your big corporate, let me start with the head good stuff, your big corporate would often, from the research I've done, um, often start by your like 7.5, 8K to 12.5, okay. you know, 12, 12.5. So and that's, that's the big corporate. Pesh, pens and say, guys, stipend exists, hey? And stipend <laughs> is great when you're a student, let me yes. tell you something, as somebody who has been in a couple of internships it's great when yeah. your students it's nice to have extra money but don't let it discourage you if you're a new graduate and you get now let me say the price five thousand to five ten thousand okay. you know but, but that's normal i think mm -hmm. from this like when i started working mm -hmm. um there were a lot of grad um, mm -hmm. opportunities that would come up and that's basically mm -hmm. where the starting point was for like an intern mm -hmm. or whatever so mm -hmm. that makes sense mm -hmm. the 5k to 10k makes mm -hmm. for the you small yeah you're small and honestly have the comfortable conversation and whatnot mm -hmm. obviously don't be so eager when you have your um don't be someone who clearly you can tell with your yes, but um when you have the conversation with your employer at the at the at the um, interview, interview yeah. make it slide it in there yeah. somehow because i mean if the range is six to ten and I'm, i guarantee you as someone who's gone to some of these interviews mm -hmm. the conversation is open it's just up to you as a person i mean as an employer i'm trying to cut costs as much yeah. but if i can see your value the conversation can be opened up yeah. for you like boss this, this, Can this, we, this. Yeah. Okay, you that's know. interesting. Okay. Um, and then your stage two, which is your actual like your your inside now junior marketing exec, which I've actually I saw a, a one I've seen one case of a girl who didn't even have a bachelor, she mm -hmm. had a diploma, but her while she got that diploma, mm -hmm. she was pushing really hard on the side, on the side yeah. with the with the your job portfolio yeah. and whatnot, and she got straight into the job uh, junior exec position. Mm -hmm. And that one, when it's a small business, it's your range is 10, 16, okay. 10 to 16. And um, I literally have her pay sort of because she was, <laughs> she anyway. was that open about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the corporate was, um, it's more your major corporate is your more your 15 to 25K. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so that's your stage two, your junior. And your exec. stage two is after, like we mentioned, uh, after two to four years yes. of of yes. employment yes. yeah so you you more likely you're about you'll go into intern intern um junior, entry yeah and then your junior okay so i combined that first stage because yeah. some people don't go into internship yeah. directly yeah. yeah um they, they go directly to the the, the, the marketing okay. the, the entry level okay and then your stage three which is your um marketing executive that is in a small business setting it's your 18k to 30k depending on because some small businesses it's not that they're really really small like a spaza shop yeah. it's just that according to the south african law they are considered as small businesses yeah. and medium sized based businesses. off of the profits that yes, they make, that they and, make so and what yeah. not yeah. yes and then you're comparing them to big yeah. corporate yeah. um but yes it's your 18 to 30k hence that's almost like almost double the low mm, to the yeah. high because mm. you don't know a small business can be an ngo yes um all the way to True. something like a law firm that's not yeah. obviously something like an adam and adams yes, yes. which is a big corporate yeah. space yeah. um and then your big corporate will be your 20k to 35k nice yes. okay so that's cool. in the beginning that's the beginning is shaky <laughs> but once you settle mm, it's that's, a lot yeah. and then you have your Again, I'll have to bring this up because it's so much conversation about it in your digital spaces. But your um your digital marketing managers, your freelancers, they work on a changing rate. rate. Yeah, yeah. So um, I mean, for this project, someone might say, and also they work a lot with international clients because yes. their whole thing is digital. So someone might be earning in euros and dollars True. and whatnot. That one I have not navigated mm. because personally, it's not a space yes. that I'm looking forward into. Okay. But other people, especially if you're someone who's really, really, really like you're diligent about going into that route, find yourself researching that mm -hmm. and find yourself speaking to people who are already in that space 
and find out if they what their rates yeah. are and what not obviously with um being realistic yeah. in mind yeah especially as a new yeah i think the one um platform that i can plug you guys with if you're trying to go into freelancing the first place to look at is fiverr fiverr mm -hmm. is like you find all sorts of like freelancers mm -hmm. on there so go check on there see what mm -hmm. see what the space looks like yes, and stage. then yeah and then take it from there but i think you 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 broke it down quite mm -hmm. nicely um and i think also it's quite impressive for the south african market that True. especially from stage two and three that mm -hmm. that is it's a it's a pretty decent mm -hmm. living you know i mean True. it's not diamond walk living yes, yes, but yes. It's not you German know car, diamond walk. of course <laughs> but i mean you you can still yes. make it you know so so that's pretty cool that's awesome um i think a lot of people don't think that marketing managers earn like that much um so you being able to break that down for mm. us was, was pretty cool mm. so thank you so much for that and it, um, it does it does um, I think the last question that I want to ask, I'm going to skip one of them. The last yeah. question that I want to ask, um, because you're studying, um, is there any advice that mm -hmm. you would give to someone who either is studying or wants to study marketing? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, any piece of knowledge that you want to give or wisdom, pearls of wisdom that you want to give to our viewers before we close out the video? Um, okay, I... My, my, let me start with context because I know in the country that we live in with unemployment and we're all really trying to make things work for ourselves mm. as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. But um, my, what I've learned over the, the couple of years that I've done studying is everybody's race is not the same. Um, the destination might be, but the race, the path is not the same. Mm. So um, another might be doing a three-year degree, you might be doing a four-year degree, another might be doing a diploma. Another you might be starting from a high certificate diploma, then the actual degree itself. It's, it's, in, it's, in, it's important for you to understand that it's my own race, my own pace, you know. Don't put don't any put any pressure. pressure. Mm. Um, secondly, I mean, let me just pull it up, but Proverbs 16 verse 3 speaks about how someone who plans gets... Um, ooh, Put your plans basically in the hands of the Lord yeah. and he oh here you go. Put your put God in charge of your work, then what you've planned will take place. This is on the message translation. Love it. Proverbs sixteen verse three. And I do think in a world where there's so much doom and gloom, I mean internet is great because it gives us information, but, but it's also overload of it can kill you yeah it can kill you i mean every day starts to say every two months is telling us how much the unemployment yeah, rate is increasing changes, yeah um especially amongst those who are then you hear people like i mean i just went home and oh um, my was a show in yeah. case it in and my grandmother i have a cousin my age and she's studying accounting and mm. we're both in the commerce world and we love it i mean mm. we get along so much about yeah. it that we cut commerce girls but when i when i go home and we discuss that with my granny shame they don't know any better yeah. and they hear accounting and they hear marketing it's and like like what about right to why yeah why yeah. why didn't you <laughs> yeah. just do what yeah. you know one man is doing so i think there's a lot of um discouragement that gets thrown our way you know economically over the internet even amongst our families and friends but if you've really been called and you've really been even if you haven't felt a sense of calling but you know that everything that i do i'm going to do diligently and these plans of mine i'm going to give into the god hands of the fulfill. lord god will mm -hmm. fulfill and it might not be this exact way that you think it's gonna you, you're gonna be fulfilled big corporate you know i'm gonna be 100 god, million god pm girl you know yeah. and guy but um just make sure to put your plans mm -hmm. in the lord's hands and it'll, eventually it will work out and then the last one just um Oh yes, be patient on pace on race. Uh, put your plans into the Lord, and then also, especially with the field as broad as marketing, know where you you, you lie. So okay. even in those plans, before you give those plans to the Lord, you have to know what that plan is, right? Um, being diligent enough to say, you know what, like I know my personality. I'd like to be in market researching because I'd disappoint myself when I'm in this space. Mm -hmm. Accurate planning, That's you know, good. accurate um, ability to say, you know, this is where I fit. This is your development This is where plan. I'm developing, yeah. you know, and it just proves to show that um, 
you need to be some person a person who's ready who's who's thoughtful who's who's strategic who's able to um make these plans come to fruition like mm, you mm. you can't just give a plan that's in yes it has to be a plan that's been formulated with good thought because if you're putting it in god's hands you can't put nonsense mm. in god's hands agreed yeah you that's know. actually something it's a conviction for me actually mm. um because i was recently um i came across something on social media mm. and the message that was laid on my heart to not basically not through that video but mm. through I, I i i just see things in the spiritual realm mm. sometimes and be specific about your prayers to god mm. right you can't say lord i want a car he can give you a test or he can give you a GLA, you know? Yeah. So be specific that Lord, this is the vision. Habakkuk mm. 2 verse, it mm. tells you, write down. the vision down. And you tell him, Lord, I want this cup because... In this color. You'll get up a judge, guys. You'll get up a judge. True. You so, know? <laughs> it's funny you say that because the car I'm currently driving, I was so specific about it. I was like, I had an aux before. I was like, God, give my like Bluetooth. With, with, with an, yeah. anyway, story for another day, but um, yes, so those are the three on race on pace. Know that, secondly, um, the plan, plan God's, God's hand, hand. Mm -hmm. and thirdly, uh, just be diligent with those plans. Know, do you know yourself like that? Before I said personal assessment, mm -hmm. you know, you can't and and knowing how to plan that in because you can't put nonsense plans to mm -hmm. god and and, and put them Love in his that. hands it needs to be good plans that you've thought about well Love yeah that. yeah awesome Thank you so much for sharing oh, your knowledge. Thank you for having me. Um, I really loved your perspective mm -hmm. and I loved how in depth you went. Mm -hmm. Um, especially like I said, the viewers of this um, you know, video are going to either be students or people who are already established mm -hmm. in their careers and want to pivot into marketing. Okay. And the way you broke it down made me feel like I'm in school mm, and I understand great. it. So thank you so much. Thank you for um, having me. And thank you to the audience for taking time to watch this mm. video and to learn for yourself. You know, I think it's very important that mm. we continue to learn. Even if you find yourself in a specific field, knowing what other people mm. do is very mm. important as exactly. well. So yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and thank you to the viewers. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it, exactly. which is everyone. Exactly. I mean, you know <laughs> and with that don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and we will see you in the next episode of our career series there are so many more people that are going to come and share their insights just like Oluetu has and give us that knowledge that we need in order for us to make informed decisions and not just make informed decisions but just to learn as well you know so um with that with so much love and so much light from me to you have an amazing rest of the day stay safe and God bless. Bye guys. Bye.